What's up all you YouTubers? Welcome to my channel. Please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It all helps my channel and the dogs that I will be rescuing in the future. Um, wanted to go over a couple things today when it comes to the Bitcoin ETF news that we are having on here. So, uh, you know, kind of put the screensaver on here so it's a little better than looking at that blue screen. Um, okay, so the Bitcoin ETF decision came out 45 days longer for the SEC to make their decision on whether a Bitcoin ETF is going to be approved or not. Makes sense. It's not really that surprising to me that that was going to happen. Happens a lot in the stock market too when an ETF, uh, you know, puts it out there that they want to make an ETF, uh, whoever's doing it. So it kind of makes sense that if their ducks aren't in a row and if the market isn't looking good, they're not going to do it. It's, and I'm not saying that with the stock market. I'm saying that with the crypto market. The SEC and this, the way that I would see things as an investor from the stock market or who has people's money wanting to come in the coin world, coin market, okay, it's too risky. And the SEC, I think, sees that. They see there's too much manipulation. They have not got to uh, these things to, to regulate them and get these people out of of doing these things, you know, pump and dump schemes, wash trading, um, just anything that they can do to manipulate the, the cryptocurrency market, which is pretty vast right now. Um, the SEC want, needs to get rid of that in order for investors to come in. Now, as much as we want ETFs to come in, because it, it would be a great catalyst for us to push in, it's the easy way of doing things. We can all just sit back and wait for big money to come in and it pushes the prices up. We don't need that catalyst at the moment but it, apparently everybody feels like we, it's a necessity for us to move forward. It's not a necessity. It would have been nice. It obviously would have made things easier for everybody. But as I touched on my last video, if if it's easy, then everybody would do it. Nobody would make money. All right. It's as simple as that. And that's just going in, in general overview of life. If you want to do things easy in life, you're going to have a hard life because you're doing things too easy. Um, it's as simple as that in your own personal life. If you're going to do things hard, if you, and I'm going to say not do it the hard way, but if it's a hard thing to do and you accomplish it, you're going to have an easier life. Okay, it's simple as that. So again, when it comes to cryptocurrency, I don't want it easy. I, I want it hard for people. I want people to think, you know, we, we all want people to think. When it comes to the stock market, you know, when things go bad, you don't just sit on your hands and go, okay, well, what, what do I do now? They figure it out. They figure out how to work their money in a different angle to make that money work for them, to make the money that they put out there work for them. So a loss isn't a loss until you pull your money out and turn it back into USD currency or tether, I guess, in you know, a way I would see it, um, and now and comparable to a dollar, apparently. Um, but you know, again, if, that, if that's the only function of tether, I mean, that is not a function of any coin or anything. You know, It's not what you do is take your money and put it in the tether, but people do. It does offset them in a short term um, from taking you know losses in a short term. Um, but you know, again, it's the easy way of doing things, and it works. But it takes more time for you to um, to uh, I would say because uh, you have to wait for the market to, to bounce back before you turn your money back in you know to something else or find a new you know coin to invest your money in. Regardless, you're just saving time is really what you're doing. So uh, yeah, that's fine. You know, if that's you guys want to do that, I mean, you know, I, I'm assuming that when the SEC comes down and starts raining down on things, the, S, uh, the tether and all these things are going to come up into question based on the wash trading and so on and so forth. So um, again, please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below, and uh, you know, again, it does no value to you guys, but it has great value to me and the dogs I'll be rescuing. So let's get right into it here, and let's see if I'm still up and running. So, uh, cryptocurrency market, we're at about 220 billion right now. Uh, Bitcoin's taking about 12% drop in the last 24 hours. Horrible, horrible to see. Ethereum, 20 to 12% drop. XRP, 20%. Ugh, you know what I mean? It's just, it's horrible to see. EOS gone down. Yay, I don't like EOS. Um, so, uh, it's, it, it just, this is what happens when everybody's waiting for the big money to come in and it doesn't happen. And I'll tell you what, every, any, all these Bitcoin players that are manipulating the market by putting a big elephant foot in and taking their elephant foot out and making the prices go up and down, they're just laughing at us all, really, when it comes down to it. You know, we're all on this hope. I'm, we're hoping it's going to go up. We're hoping, we're hoping, and hoping, and then it goes down and they just laugh at us because we're all selling out. And when everybody gets back in, they're going to pump the price up. And then, you know, it's just the way, you know, 
the way that they're letting it work, that we're, that we're letting it work. The SEC is letting it work and nobody's coming in and stopping them from manipulating the market. It's not illegal to do that, but with the Bitcoin dominance of 50 percent and the way it can be moved, there's no one in the stock market that can move the stock market that like that with their if their price dumps. OK, so that's really we're just we're relying on Bitcoin and that's kind of a, a, a bad thing, but it helps things go mainstream. So it's a give and take to everything we do. So. Let me just uh, you know give you a kind of an overview of you know, blockchain. Okay, like I said, blockchain where everybody believes in it, big businesses believe in it. They're already introducing it in their businesses. It's the coins that they don't like. So blockchain, okay, it's transparent and it reduces business costs. It's a trusted transaction. There's no third party, so it drops their costs. An altered copy of a public ledger. Blockchain, great. Everybody loves it. We all know it. It's the cryptocurrency that no that that the big money is really just like we don't like it. It's too volatile. You guys are fucking around with it too much. It's manipulated too much. Why would we want to put our money in this so you guys can manipulate our money? And like I said in my last video, there's trade groups out there doing pump and dump schemes and they made 825 million this year. Do you think anybody with 800 billion dollars is gonna put their money in a cryptocurrency exchange or anywhere in the market if they know that they can get manipulated and, and some portion of their money is gonna be manipulated and taken out Regardless of whether it's washing training, pump and dump schemes, or whatever they're doing to a coin, you know, from a coin. So, uh, you know, keep that guys in perspective. There's analogous things when it comes to the stock market, just based on per, on, on thinking, on, on thought process of an investor. They don't care about the actual coin and the functioning of their coins. They want to know it works, and they want to know that they can make money on it, just like a stock. It's as, it's as simple as that. Um, so... Uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad, I wanted to touch on him. He thinks that there's three types of money. There is God's money, which is like gold and silver. Um, you have the government's money, which is fiat money, and fiat is not backed by anything. It's backed by supply and demand. So it's not, it's not, it's kind of fake money. So if our Wall Street takes a dump, there goes our, there goes the fiat dollar. And then their third one is cryptocurrency, which is the people's money. And he has a new book coming out called Fake Money, uh, or Fake, I think is what it's just called. And, um, it, you know, he's right. I follow Robert Kiyosaki. I read a lot of his books when I was younger, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and a couple of, you know, the second one he, he came out with and the third one, and that, that's pretty much it. But his perspective and his uh, way of men mental thinking on things is correct. And, uh, he, you know, he's like me. I, I like tangible assets. So I want gold. I want silver. I want all that and, and because it's safe. And cryptocurrency can get you that as well. So I just want to touch on, you know, perspectives on the way you want to see things and the way things are laid out. Uh, so uh, last thing but not least before I get on a plane this afternoon, crypto fear and greed index, 23 today, 25 yesterday. Makes sense because Bitcoin has gone down. Actually, the whole market has gone down and taken just a crazy, ugly dump. I mean, we don't even have any freaking any, you know, leaders today. Not one, you know, Aurora, 1%. And then, oh my gosh, it, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Crazy. Everybody's taking just a dump. You know, it makes sense, but it, it's it's unfortunate to see based on the cryptocurrency coins and everybody relying on, at least from what I think is the Bitcoin ETF news. And, you know, now that the FUD is out there, everybody's, you know, getting out and putting their money more into safer places like, uh, you know, assumably Tether is what everybody thinks is, is safe, but... You know, if I if I played this crypto market and stock market and this happened, I'd pull all my money out of the crypto market, put it right back in the stock market so I can stave off my own losses and possibly make more um, more gains than losses. Um, so I put my money back to work is really what it comes down to. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. Please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It has no value to you guys, but it has great value to me. You guys have a great Wednesday. Keep up the grind.